Alright, what's guys, Keeping Coded, and welcome to another weekly Keeping Reddit video. Before we start though, I just want to remind you guys that if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend you do because I upload videos each and every single day, and the worst thing that could possibly happen is that you unsubscribe later, so might as well just subscribe right now so you don't forget. Okay, so this was the top post of the week. It says, was going for sub 10, but I'll take this. <laughs> I mean, it's not not like a plus two, it kind of looks like it is, uh, but you know what, we'll take it. You know, I don't really know what's up with like Keeping Milestones and why they're so hard to beat. You know, I remember sub 20, I was averaging like 23 seconds, 22 seconds, but I just couldn't see to get under that 20 second barrier you know i couldn't get a single 19 second solve until after like a month of averaging around 23 22 seconds and getting my first sub 10 definitely the same story you know i was averaging around 11 seconds which at that point you probably should be able to get a nine second solve at one point but uh, nope not for me i just couldn't seem to get under today i learned that you can make structures with mirror cubes Wait, hold on, that's so cool. Okay, wow, so does that mean that you can get like 500 of them and make like a huge wall? Because if so, someone please do that. Not me, because I'm poor, so someone that's rich, please do that. So you got a 2x2. Two two. Wait, that's illegal. <laughs> Dang, we do love that. You know, I always remember trying to make a checkerboard pattern with a 2x2 two two or 4x4, four four, and I never understood why it didn't work. I was like, wait, why is it like not actually doing the checkerboard pattern? Yeah, I didn't understand that that's just not how even layered cubes work. Uh, but just looking at it right now, uh, it looks kind of awkward. I scrambled my 4x4 four four, like a 2x2 two two, and accidentally got four different colors on each side. Uh, wait, okay, that's actually pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so if you're if you're trying to like do a 2x2 solve, then that means you just have nothing to go off of, right? So if you use like Ortega or something, doing that first side, you would like have to completely guess which side you start on, uh, which we love. And I feel like whenever I'm doing 2x2, even though I hardly ever do it, I always feel like there's at least one side with like, you know, two colors, so I can at least go off that one. Uh, but nope, this one just has nothing to go off of. My mom and I made Rubik's Cube so for my science teacher. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Okay, that actually looks pretty cool. Uh, the question is, can it turn? Because if it doesn't, I'm not impressed. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. That's super cool. My cube is getting itself a, <laughs> a proper funeral ceremony. Oh my god. Okay, so if you haven't seen the video that they're trying to emulate, here it is. Yeah, okay, just looking at this picture right away, I knew what they're going for. I absolutely love that. I tried solving a 3x3 in the dark today. I mean, what did you expect? Yeah, you know, cubing when it's dark, you know, green kind of just like looks like blue, red looks like orange a lot. You're constantly replacing yellow with white. So it's just really not the easiest thing to do. My dad mowed my 3x3. <laughs> yeah, okay, poor guy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta say though, what is your 3x3 doing in the middle of the grass? You know, why are you putting it in the situation to get mowed down by a lawnmower? Dang, poor cube. It didn't deserve that. I mean, at least it's a Rubik's brand though, right? So it's not that bad. I made my first force cubes. Actually, good fun and they look great. Dang, look at that. I actually have made force cubes before. Uh, you know, here's mine. Uh, the thing is, I was too late to actually like replace the center pieces like i really just couldn't be bothered to like screw everything out and like replace the cores and everything just so that all the centers could also be green uh so yeah i guess i kind of cheated but oh well what are you going to do a cube poster i made a few years ago for school oh my god that's so cool and what can you say you know a lot of people are just very very passionate about cubing uh personally i can never really see myself doing this because it would just look too nerdy for me uh but you know what if i didn't care about that i probably would do the exact same thing i love Barnes and nobles yep me too me too so if you didn't know Barnes and nobles it's just like a bookstore and they always have like cubes in like the little toy area section like the puzzles and i've done this so many times where like i'm with my friends and i'm just like wait guys there's rubik's cubes over there peace out i'm gonna go check it out and they're like v cubes or like really typical shape mods but even then you know just seeing cubes in person in the store just kind of makes me excited i remember one time in particular though uh you know inside one of the boxes there was a scrambled v cube 4 the box was damaged so i'm guessing someone just like opened the box scrambled it put it back inside and like didn't pay for it so i was like you know what if this box is already open screw it at least i'm gonna make it solved so i opened up the box again i took it out i solved the v cube 4 put it back in uh, okay, by the way, the VQ4 turned terribly. And yeah, so I put it back in, just put it back on the shelf, and didn't pay for it. So yeah, throw it back when I decided to clean my 9x9. Oh my gosh, poor guy. That just seems so unpleasant to deal with. To be fair though, at least it is an odd layer cube. You know, I feel like even assembling a semi 7 together is easier than doing a 4x4 because, you know, you don't have to deal with the core pieces that always just kind of go apart whenever you try putting them together. Want to see the most illegal thing I own? <laughs> oh my god, that throws me off so much. Just like seeing a GAN logo on something that it's not supposed to be on it. Like I remember I saw a picture, it was like a GAN logo on a 5x5 and that just like just tripped me off. Like I really need GAN to make a 5x5. I can't wait for them to actually do it. But you know, for the time being, when it doesn't exist, Please just don't put Gantt logos on cubes you're not supposed to put them on. Anyone else or is it just me? 88.7k cubers cubing, 327 cubers not cubing, uh, people who cube uprisings are slash cubers. <laughs> I mean, fair point, you know, you could cube basically while doing anything else. You know, technically, aren't I cubing right now while browsing r slash cubers? I'm breaking the system, what can I say? I scrambled my brother's pyraminx, maybe a little too well. Yeah, what even is this? Oh my gosh. You know, you always see people making like illegal cubes for 3x3, but not for a pyraminx, like this is new for me. That's just such an awkward image. Oh my gosh. Alright, well anyways, that's all we're going to be taking a look at today. Super fun and I always love doing this, honestly. So once again, if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend you do because I upload videos each and every single day and the worst thing that could possibly happen is that you unsubscribe later. So might as well just subscribe right now so you don't forget. Alright, that's all for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.